okay there? Are you the new person in the office? Cool. I'm most young. Listen, I, I'm sorry to be in your business, but I noticed that you are a little bit nervous. Am I correct? I know it. It's fine. It's your first day, and I can assure you that when I started in this office, I was horrified. Yeah, it seems overwhelming, doesn't it? You're going to be fine. The truth is, listen, the truth is, nobody here knows what they're doing. Everyone is pretending, and they're just trying to get by whatever they think is best. So, use your best judgment and do the best you can. And I know that sounds crazy, but it's the truth. Listen, right now, you have a lot of reports open. Yeah, I would suggest to just go one by one. Because at the end of the day, you have to do them all, so. Don't overwhelm yourself with so much at the same time. Yeah, you're going to be able to multitask eventually, but it's your first day, so exactly. Just start with one. If you need any help, I, I would be more than happy to help you. Absolutely. Listen. We all start new at some, somewhere, and I wish that I had someone who would help me when I started. It was a really rocky beginning. My first week was hell, and I don't want anyone to go through that, so let me help you. Yeah. Go with this one first. Yeah. Is the easiest one because you're going to be able to do it in 35 minutes or so. Yeah. And then you can go with the second one. And that, yeah, the one. Yes. And you're just going to start to fall into a rhythm. And you're going to realize that it's doable. No problem. Listen, if you'd like to go to lunch with me, I would be more than happy to do that. And I can actually give you a tour of the office. Do you know where the cafeteria is? Nobody told you where the cafeteria is. It's all right. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you, and it's going to be cool. You're going to like it. There's a lot of options. And also, I think I should tell you a little bit about the people in this office. Yes, because I saw you talking to Deborah. And nobody talks to Deborah. Oh no, 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 no. Deborah is scary. We don't know what's wrong with her. She went to China by herself, which is really weird. And she brought back a weird looking doll. Since then, she always carries that doll with her. Have you seen it? Okay, look, look at her desk right now. The doll is there. Can you see it? Oh God, don't look at her, just look at the desk. Yeah, don't, don't make eye contact with Deborah. uh-uh. We think it's a serious case of 
demonic possession, but we don't really know. Anyways, do not speak to Deborah if you do not want to be possessed or have some weird shit happen to you. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Okay, so, do you see the person on the left? That's Victor. He's a really nice, nice guy, but Victor has a huge issue. He will talk to you anytime, but he won't stop talking. So if you're not a talker or you have hours to spare, go and talk with Victor and good luck with that. But he's a good guy, so he's fine. At least he's not possessed. Do you see Sean? Yeah, the one. You've met Sean. Okay, oh. Yep. He's one of those guys. He will flirt with anything that moves or anyone. So careful with Sean because Sean is very flirty. Yeah. I tell you, he will just tell you the stupidest pickup lines just to see if he gets your attention, so be careful. And that last person on the right, Maria, she's the sweetest person ever and she's really good at her job, really good. Yeah, so Maria is actually one of the smartest people in this office and if you have any questions, you can come to me or come to Maria. Yeah, unless you want to talk a lot, then you would go to Sean. But do not go to Deborah. Keep in mind, no to Deborah. Okay. And always keep a bottle of holy water in your pocket. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. No, you don't have to do that. Listen, you're going to be fine. Don't feel insecure. It's your first day. You're going to have to learn slowly and step by step, okay? We all do that. We all learn slowly and we kind of feel weak at the beginning. We feel dumb. We feel lost. We feel stupid. And we don't understand at that moment that we're just, we're just new. And it doesn't matter if you have education or experience. It's always different at every job. But I promise you, once you get the hang of it, you're going to look back and you're going to say, piece of cake. So please do not be discouraged. It's all about attitude and how you perceive things. Don't let this overwhelm you. Do the best you can. To the best of your ability. And if the boss says anything, you still can rely on the fact that you're new. Now, don't rely on being new for so long, of course. Work hard. Exactly. Because you don't want to be that person that relies on that same excuse all the time. But what I'm trying to say right now is that you don't need to feel discouraged as you're learning and nobody is going to come after you because you haven't completed all the reports on your first day. Just try to do your best and you're going to be fine. I promise. And you can count on me. You can count on Maria. And if you have to you can count on Sean, even though he's just going to hit on you, but he might still help you. He's kind of really good at these as well. Yeah. It's, it's all good. It's fine. And think about my offer. Yeah, we can, we can get some lunch if you, want, if you want that. Cool. Yeah, I, I, I usually 
just by the salads because I'm on a diet, yeah. But you can grab a pizza, a burger, whatever you want. It's my treat. Take it as a welcome gift to the office. Awesome. Well, I think I'm going to let you go now because you have a lot to do and you need to focus. So if you need anything, Thank you.